I'll turn it over to you, uh, Mrs. Nolan. Let everybody know uh, what we're going to do and, you know, give them the instructions and have some fun. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Sheik. Hi, everyone. How are you? And welcome. Today, we're going to be making paper planes. Um, by a show of hands or a smiley face, have you? how many of you have made paper planes before? Okay, okay, awesome. Now, um, if you can tell me in the chat, how many different kind of planes have you made? Have you made one or two, three? Do you know how to make different ones? Two, okay, I see two, 10, wow. 26 types. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are more advanced than me. I only, I only know how to make four. <laughs> so we are going to stick to the four I know, but I do have a little handy dandy um, tutorial that always helps me make these cool paper planes with you guys. So today we're going to be making four different planes. One is called the dart, the bug, the jet, and the glider. So those are the four plane, uh, paper planes that we'll be making today. So right now we're gonna start with the dart and I am going to flip my camera so you guys can follow along with me as I you know, fold the plane. And um, you know, I will do the steps a couple times. I'll try to go as, you know, as slow as I can and still repeat some steps if, if you guys missed it along the way. All right, so here I go flipping the camera. So you guys can see all my papers over here. Do you see them? Yeah? All right, so I'm gonna take all these away and just leave one here. So the first thing you're gonna do is have your paper this way. So horizontally towards you, the long way facing you. All right? So not this way, but horizontally facing you. I'm gonna try to maneuver this a little bit better so you guys can see. All right, so step one, I think it's pretty easy. We're gonna fold it in half long way. So we're gonna fold it in half long way like that. So it should look long like this. All right. There we go. So you just need four pieces of paper for now. So it should be long way like that. Does everybody have that step down? Yes, awesome. All right, then step number two, we're gonna kind of make it long ways like this in front of us, like we had it before when we first folded it. And we're gonna take this little corner. If you can see, we're gonna take this little corner and we are gonna Fold it to the middle. We're going to make this little top corner mm -hmm. and meet it right here in the middle. And it should look like that. So let me know if we got that so far. So far, so good. All right. Then the next step we're going to do is we are going to fold it one more time. So now we have this corner right here. And we're gonna fold it again. We're gonna kind of have to use our finger here so this doesn't move. And have this corner go to the middle, this little point go to the middle. And that's what we're gonna do now. So it should look like this. So step number one was fold it in half completely. Step number two was to bring this corner here. And then step number three was to take this corner and have it go to the center fold. All right. Are we all with me? Yeah. Awesome. Now, now we are going to fold this corner <laughs> down to the center fold again. So actually, we're going to take this little corner, if you can see that, the last corner at the end at the bottom, and we're going to just make it come to the center corner, just like this. Oh no, that's not what it's telling me to do. Sorry, sorry, wait, don't do that yet. Pause, we actually have to make this whole line right here, this, this um, fold that we did, and we're gonna kind of fold this in half and have this whole side meet 
at the center fold, just like that. I know it's getting hard because it's getting the paper, the paper is getting smaller and smaller to fold. So it should look like this. Are we all with me? And it's okay because we are going to, someone's shaking their head no. Zoe is shaking her head no. All right, we're going to do the same steps on the other side. So then you'll know what to do if you missed it. Okay, so we're going to flip it over and we're going to kind of do the same steps that we just did. So first we did was we take, we took this corner and folded it to the center fold just like that. All right. So that's step number one, take your first corner and put it to the center fold. Awesome. Then we're going to take this little corner, this little point, and we're going to bring that to the center fold as even as possible. So the paper should be getting narrower and narrower. And Mrs. Nolan, I just wanted to remind all of our friends that this is being recorded so that they can go back and practice and try again if they don't get everything right now. So no worries if someone's having a little bit of a tough time following along. Awesome. So you guys can, will be able to practice even more by using the recording. Awesome. So then, like we did on this side, we're going to make this side even thinner one more time. So we're going to kind of take this whole side and fold it like that. So it's gonna get, it's gonna get hard. It's gonna get really tight to fold. Well, you guys have strength, right? Been eating our fruits and vegetables today. And this is what we should look like. When you open it up like that, we should have, this is called the dart. So does yours look like this? I'm gonna flip my camera one second so you guys can see me holding it. So now it should look like this. Awesome. I see a couple of you guys that have the dart down. Awesome. All right, now it's time to test it. All right, ready. Three, two, one, go. Oh, mine went straight ahead. If I had my door open, I think it would go out the door. Did it work? Did it work? Mine's dead. I think it could have went further. I think for the next oh. one, we might have to go a little slower because we got some people who just fell way behind. Of course, not a problem. Not a problem. So I think we're going to go with the jet because that one's, because they get a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to go with the jet because the jet has, um, the steps are a little bit more kind of similar to the dart that we just did. So we are gonna, I'm gonna flip my camera again so you guys can see me folding the paper. I just, I'm gonna try to get my, my camera to capture more of the paper. All right, here we go. Oh, I think that's better. Do you see the paper? Awesome. All right, so with the jet, we're going to see you guys I mean, yeah. put in chat if you can see. I see William and Isaac put a thumbs up. Put a thumbs up or let me know if you can see. Everyone can see okay, it looks like. All uh -huh. right, okay. All right, okay. So with the jet, we're going to kind of start folding it the same way we did with the dart. So we're going to hold it long ways towards us, and we're going to fold it in half like this, kind of just how we just did the dart. You want to make this little center fold as flat as possible. Sometimes I like using my nails to make that crease really good. So that is step one. And keep it folded just like that. Awesome. So then we're actually going to open it up. And then we're going to bring 
this one of either side, whichever one you want to start with, I'm going to start with the right and I'm going to bring that to the center crease like this. So I'm taking the right, I'm starting with the right corner. You can do either way. And I'm just gonna bring it to the middle like this. And I'm gonna use my nail to make it, make that crease nice and sharp. All right. So first we fold it in half. And then we're going to open it up. So first we're going to fold it in half. Then we're going to open it up and we're going to take this little top right corner and then fold it right to the middle. And we're going to make a really good crease. So that's step one and step two. All right. Then step three, we're going to take Again, with the right side corner, whatever side you started with, we should have a little corner here at the bottom. And we're gonna bring that to the middle. We're gonna kind of need to guide the paper a little bit because we want it to fold like that. So we want it to be pointy at the top. All right. We're gonna use our nail to kind of make that crease extra sharp. All right, and then that's what it should look like. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. So what we just did is bring the left hand corner or the right hand corner, whatever side you need to do now, and then bring that to the middle and make a crease. And then we're gonna take this corner again, the corner right here, and then bring that to the middle because we want it to be nice and pointy on the top. So you're gonna need to guide it a little bit. Is everyone following along okay? And make a crease. Let me know in chat if you're following along okay. I see some people showing on camera. They won't have any All right, looks like everybody's doing okay. Okay, awesome. So your piece of paper should look like this. Pretty neat, right? I think it already kind of looks like a jet to me. Awesome. All right, so then what we're gonna do is take it and mm -hmm. your, your crease mm -hmm. should be here already. So you're gonna kind of fold it in half just like that. So when we initially folded it in half, it should kind of fold in half again. So all these little folds that you just did should be on the inside. And nothing should show. You should be looking like this. All right. Awesome. And then the final step, we're, well, two, we're, we have two more steps to go. We are going to take this corner, the wider, and we're going to bring it down and have it meet this side. And we're going to fold it like that. So at first, all of our foldings that we just did are hiding in between the paper. And then we're going to lay it flat and then kind of start exposing. We're going to bring this corner down to the folded middle. Awesome. We're going to do the same on the other side. So we're going to flip it. And this, should, this corner should be here. And we're going to just bring that down to the folded center and make that flat, just like that. And then if you wanna add some pizzazz, this is gonna make it even um, jet even cooler. We're just gonna bring this up. So you see how I got this corner down here? We're gonna bring it up to the center fold like that. And we're gonna do the same on this side. We already had it folded down and we're gonna bring it up to the center fold like that. And then you should have the piece right here to hold. And then this is our jet, 
All right, are you guys ready to test it? I'm gonna get on camera myself. Show me your airplanes. From this side, it really does look like a jet. All right, and then this is, yeah, it looks good, everyone. Okay, are you guys ready to test it? All right, let's show me what it got. It's ready? Three, two, one. Oh, mine's went right down. <laughs> it went whoop. <laughs> Gideon said the jet went faster and goes farther than the first one. So. Oh, okay. Yep. Hey, before you start your next one, can I ask you what got you interested in paper airplanes? Have you always enjoyed them? Did you have kids and that got you hooked on them? What, how did you get into that? That is a great question. Well, yes, I am a mom of two boys, eight and 10. And obviously, you know, we all like our electronics and devices and gaming and all that good stuff. But as a parent, you always wanna find some non-electronic activities to find and do with them. So in that, um, you know, seeking out those things, I came across this book. It's called Paper Airplanes, How to Fold Them. And it gives me, it comes with all the instructions on how to fold them. And I've been doing this for a couple years now. So every once in a while, my kids really enjoy, they find the book and they're like, let's make paper airplanes. And the cool thing is it comes with like these different designs, paper. So when you start folding them into the different like jet um, gliders and stuff like that, they make really co cool designs if you see them on the, on the cover. That's really cool. So yeah, so it adds some pizzazz to the air, the paper airplane than just like, you know, mm -hmm. the regular white paper is good to kind of practice and then they kind of move on to this paper and it looks cool when it's flying. So yeah, that's how we kind of got started. Awesome, looks like a couple of our friends have that book or a similar book as well. So thanks for sharing that. Of course, of course. So do we have time for one more? Yeah. I know we said four, but I think we we might let me know if we have time for two more or just one more. We got time for two more. Okay, awesome. All right. So now the next the last two are the glider or the bug. So which one do you guys want to do? Put it in the chat. Glider or bug? Which one, whichever one I see the most of, that's what we'll start with. I mean, we'll do both, but <laughs> glider, bug, bug, bug glider. Okay, I think we'll do the bug. All righty. So the bug is a little complicated and I will try to take my time on explaining the instructions, but I think we got it. We got practice on the last two. So I think we, we definitely moved on to the intermediate <laughs> versions of um, or complication you know, the, 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 the level of complicated steps for the um, paper airplane. So here we go. All right, as per usual, what, how do you think we got to fold this paper? In half the long way, right? So here we go, we're gonna fold it in half the long way, like we've kind of been doing throughout. Make a really good crease with your nail. If you have a pencil right in the middle, just like that. So for all there, that's awesome. Then we're going to open it up and we should be exposing our beautiful crease that we just did, our, that fold. And then the next step, once your, your paper is opened up like that and you can see the crease in the middle, the fold in the middle. Now you're gonna take your corners, kind of like we did with the jet, and we're gonna bring it to the middle, to the center fold. Make a really good crease, just like that. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Now I just wanna make sure everybody's 
at this step. So this is what our paper should look like. You think I should keep going? We're all good? All right, awesome. Then this is where it gets a little funky. So now we're gonna take this little top corner and we're almost gonna make an envelope. So we're gonna kind of bring it down and take the whole paper and kind of fold it in half. So it should kind of look like an envelope now, right? Does it look like an envelope like this? Yes, awesome. Thank you for showing me on camera, yep. So look like an envelope. All right, this is where it gets kind of hard. You guys ready? All right, now we're gonna take one corner. So everybody kind of find the center of your, see how we made this line right here? Try to find like the center of it. So my center I think is about here. Yeah, I, I, I say that's my center. So I'm gonna take this corner and I'm gonna kind of bring the point right here to the center and hold it with my finger. So if you missed that step, let's find the center with the center of this paper with your finger right on this line, this crease that we made. We're gonna take this one, one of the sides, one of the corners, and we're gonna kind of fold it like this, and we're gonna hold it with our finger down and then make the crease, a really good fold crease on the other side. I know, I know, it get, it's getting wonky, but that's where we should be at now. So we made our little envelope, we found the center, then we're taking one corner and bringing it to the center fold and holding it down with our finger and then making a really good crease on that, on that side. And then you wanna swap hands, grab your other corner, kind of bring it to that same center point that you just did and then make that good crease right there. So we went from an envelope to I guess like a boat or depending how you're looking at it, it almost looks like a samurai to me. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's where we should be. Everybody's there, everybody's good. Yeah, that looks good, Helen, you look good. That looks good. Yep, just like that. All right, I see you Tristan and Grayson, good job. All right, now we're moving along. So now we're gonna take, you see our little friend down here that's hanging out? I would say that's like the chin of my samurai or the chin of something. Or maybe if you're looking at it a different way, maybe the top of the boat or the bottom of the boat, the parasail. All right, so we're gonna take that and we're gonna flip it up. And we're gonna meet that same corner right here, the same point where these two ends are meeting. We're gonna bring that one right there too. And we're going to fold it down really good. I know this one, this one's kind of hard, but you guys are doing great. You guys are doing great. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Delilah. All right. I'm seeing some people that have that. All right. Awesome. So then what we're going to do is we're going to cover all this up. And we're going to fold it in half. So all that work we just did, now we can't even see it because we're folding the whole thing in half like that. So it's hiding right now. Are you there? Yep, I see you, Taylor. Good job. Good job. So this is what we should be at right now. This should be how our paper airplane is moving along. Mm -hmm. And now the next step is honestly the last step and it's just making our wings. And, the, all, and all that is, is we're, we're, we're taking this, we're folding it, sorry, it's probably better, this corner right here, and we're gonna bring it down to the center fold, cause that just helps us cut it in half like that, fold it in half. Oh no, so it looks like, actually I'm looking at the steps. So it looks like we have to fold it. So we're gonna take this, Sorry, scratch what I just said. So leave it flat like this. <laughs> All right, so you see this whole crease right here, this whole line that we have? 
we're going to have we're going to meet that with the center fold so this gets a little complicated but we're going to meet that down here bring it down to the center fold to the middle like that so we were just here and it's almost like cutting it in half like folding it right in half down here and we want this whole thing to meet just like that so this is what it should look like so when we folded it, I folded it like this. And we're gonna do the same over here. And it's probably easier just to grab it and bring it down like that. And then we're about to do our reveal. Are you guys ready? Are you here? Are you at that step? Yes, all right, I see Matthew saying, yes, I'm ready. <laughs> all right, so here's our reveal. This is our bug. All right, let me get it on camera. Let me switch views. And this is what our bug paper airplane should look like. All right, I see some on camera, awesome. All right, ready to test it out? In three, two, one. Oh, that one stayed up in the air longer. It stayed up in the air longer than the other one. It kind of glided around and obviously gravity mm -hmm. always makes it go down, but it definitely stayed up in the air longer for me. All right, so do we have time to do the last one, the glider? We do. All right, awesome. All right, so now we're down to the last mm -hmm. one, which is the glider. Um, it got similar steps to the bug, so it just gets a little bit more complicated, but I think we're up for the challenge. This is the last one. We got some practice in, and we're up to do the last, the last um, paper plane. So here we go. So we have our paper now facing. So for the most part, we were facing it this way, the long way. So this time we're gonna turn it around, and it should be horizontal. Before it was vertical, and now it's horizontal. I think my camera just froze. Do you guys see me? Am I moving? I think you're frozen. Okay, give me two seconds. I, I saw that. Let me just swap views real quick and let's see if I can fix that. All right, let me do it again. All right, we're good. There you go. go. Yep. Thank you. All right. So now we have it horizontal. And the first thing we're gonna do is fold it in four. So what that looks like is we're gonna fold it in half this way. Fold it in four. And then we're gonna fold it in half again. And we're just making, you know, I guess a square or a rectangle. So we're just folding it in fours. Depends how, what type of paper you have. If you have like a more square paper, it'll probably come out to prettier squares. Mine's it's kind of like a rectangle. All right, so this is what we have. Now we're going to open it all back up because we want to expose all the lines we just did, all the creases. Do you guys hear me okay? Okay. Yep, you're good. Okay, awesome. All right, so then the next step is we are going to take the top and we're going to kind of fold it in half to meet the middle crease like that. Are we there? So this is what our paper should look like. Awesome. Then kind of like the bug, we're going to kind of hold our middle point right here. Well, it's not the middle point. Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, we're gonna hold it right here. We're gonna hold this flap down. We're gonna grab one of our corners and we are gonna fold it so it meets us right here at this middle point. So all the folds are happening. And we're gonna make our crease like that. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna swap fingers, get my little center fold. We're all, and I'm gonna grab this point. 
and have it meet right here. Sometimes you gotta maneuver the paper a little bit. And boom, there you go. Kind of looks like a cape to me. What does it look like to you guys? What does your imagination tell you it looks like? <laughs> looks like a cape to me. That's how I would describe it. All right. So are we all here at this step? Yeah? All right. I think we are. All right. This is where it gets kind of funky because we, we, we had practice with this little step. Now we're going to take these two points. And we're going to kind of fold it in half and cover up what we just did. Just, just cover it right up. So see how we have all these, well, all these um, points meet? We're going to kind of fold this in half and then cover it up, put it right over top. So William and Isaac said um, they thought it looks like a hero mask. Tristan Ooh, and Grayson, good. yeah, Tristan and Grayson said a, a samurai helmet, and I'm seeing helmet. that more and more as you fold. Yep. Yeah, I'm like, it's it's looking different. It's not looking like a, a paper airplane yet. <laughs> All right, so now that we're here, we are going to do it one more time. We're going to fold it down one more time. It's getting smaller on us. There you go. Was it upside down? I guess it looks like a boat or a helmet. So this is where we are at. We're all there. We're good. Thumbs up. We're good. All right. So now we're going to flip it over. So we're going to hide all those foldings and it should look like this. You're just flipping it over. All right. And then we're going to kind of see this crease that we have there. We're going to fold it back right on that crease. See, mine is not perfect. I'm, my foldings are a little off. But there we go. So we had it this way, and now we're just kind of folding it back right on that crease and showing all the foldings that we just created. Okay. And then what we're going to do is, um, I would say like a finger's length. So if you have a, like your finger like this, you're going to take that and you're going to kind of fold it right in the middle like that. So if you take your finger just to kind of take a measurement of where you should fold, then you want to fold it that way. Just like that. And you kind of want to do that same fold on the other side. You kind of want to do it on the other side. Did it on one side, just kind of flipping it. So you just want that crease because this is where you're going to hold it. So to, to to test it out. All right, now it's time for the reveal. So the wings should kind of want to open up now that you kind of did that fold back and forth. Are we there? Okay, says you lost us. All right. So where did I lose you at? So we had the paper like this. We did all our foldings over here. Says your mind look weird. That's okay. That's okay. You're going to fold it like this and we brought and we just kind of folded it in half, exposed all the things we just folded, and then you're going to kind of take your finger, or however much you want to do, it's nothing specific. This is just where you're going to kind of create the creases and fold it so you can hold your, your paper airplane at the end. And then once you do that for a couple of times and you hold it, your, your wings are going to want to open up like that. So this is what it should look like. I'm going to get on camera so we can all show what we created it should the bug should look like this almost looks like an open book to me if i was open if you went to the library and you saw like a book on display and that was open that's kind of what it looked like to me all right you guys ready to test it three two one oh mine went like very sharp it made a very sharp turn <laughs> Well, those were the four types of airplanes. Do you guys remember all the names that we just created? Which one's the first one we did? We did the dart first, then the jet, then the bug, then the glider. So in the chat, tell me which one was your favorite one to make, and then which one was your favorite one 
that flew because it might be different. <laughs> or if they were the same, that's cool too. The glider, the bug. Awesome. The jet. Yeah, I, I like the bug too. The jet. Awesome. Okay. Everybody liked the, you know, all four at some point. Awesome. Well, it was my absolute pleasure. I hope that you guys practice. You guys remember the steps. And like they said, this is recorded. So you can come back to the recording and, you know, go through the steps on your own. I'm glad you have fun. I always have fun doing this as well. And thank you so much. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your summer and the rest of the camp presentations that we have scheduled. Thank you, Mrs. Nolan. Thanks for being here today. Um, keep in mind, everyone, that these are being recorded. They're going to be available on YouTube. So if you missed a session or if you want to go back and watch um, the paper airplane making and kind of go at your own pace, you can. If you have done, um, if you're filling out your passport, remember to send it to Mr. Sheik, and I'm going to put his um, his email address in here. Once you have completed six sessions, be sure to send your passport into Mr. Sheik for a prize. We're going to be back tomorrow with Mrs. Alcott and working on some more. Um, I know you're you're finalizing the airport towards the end of the week. Are you working on airport things again tomorrow, Mrs. Alcott? We're actually going to take a field trip to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. It's a virtual field trip. And we're going to look at some paintings and uh, make a sunflower drawing Ooh, um, inspired by Van Gogh's um, sunflower painting um, that at one point in time was on exhibit at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Not sure if it's um, still on exhibit there or not so depending upon where you live in pennsylvania you might very well have to take an airplane to get to philadelphia um because you know pennsylvania is a very very large state okay so i hope everyone had fun today remember go at your own pace and go back and look at the video and try again with the paper airplanes i know i goofed up here and there but you know that's all part of that's all part of the uh, experience with learning and growing. You try again. So I I see in the chat, you know, you had lots of fun. You have some books maybe at home that have paper airplanes in them that you might go dust off your bookshelf and try. That's that's really good. So remember, um, think about your airports. Think about if there's anything you want to change, tweak. And then we'll go back to your airports on Friday. Tomorrow is sunflowers. Real awesome. Quick, guys, um, if you filled out a passport already, you can fill out another one and you'll get a bigger prize. So if you already did one passport, you can do a second one. Some of you have already even turned out two. That's fine because we're going to be sending bigger prizes and more stuff with the uh, more passports you fill out. We want you guys to try to attend as many sessions as possible and have as much fun too. Um, also, since uh, Mrs. Alcott is doing something on the Philadelphia Art Museum and taking a virtual tour there and uh, talking about, you know, different artists and stuff like that, which all of you are artists. If you look at Hector and Amarellis, they actually made some designs on their airplane, which is awesome. Um, I think that during our break, we'll do a Kahoot kind of quiz on Philadelphia and some artists such as, you know, Hey, have any of you even know who Vincent Van Gogh is? Have any of you ever heard of who Van Gogh is? Or any other artist or anything of like, like that? So William and Isaac said, obviously. Well, not everybody's heard of Vincent Van Gogh. They might have thought that he played running back for the Eagles. You don't know. Um, <laughs> but we'll have some fun with that, too. Um, and you'll see all the instructions for what we need for tomorrow in the emails. And as I mentioned, the Gahoot will be about art history and Philadelphia history. So you might want to do a little bit of research on that for the questions tomorrow too. Looks like Alejandro and Miguel are very familiar with Van Gogh. That's awesome. 
If you've got a question, you can type it in the chat box. Otherwise, we are wrapping up for today. We'll see you tomorrow. I hope you all have a great evening. Thank you, everyone.